Hello and welcome to the Enterprise Suite integration demonstration. I'm just going to go through two or three features of Enterprise that show the real power of the product and the level of integration that we have. So what I'm doing here is I'm signing on to a database that we've got hosted in internet land. So I'm connecting over web services. So I've got the client installed locally and the database is in a different office. So if we start with CRM and if I go to my prospects, pull up a prospect, what I can do is I can raise a quote. The quote that I actually raise uses stock items from within the system, so it's not another stock file, it, there's just one stock file that holds all the products. I can select those. Any pricing that I've had set up for the customer, they'll get. So here, th these guys are on the wholesale price list. I can amend it if I'm doing them a deal, or if we create special pricing, it'll all be picked up. We can save that quote. That obviously, based on the, the, the costing method we've got in the background, gives us the actual cost. Okay, we're, make, we're making a loss here. Let's, so we see here, we're selling the monitor a little bit too cheaply. So let's just put that to 150. Give that one a price of £10. Okay, so what we can see there is now we're making a £70 profit from a £260 revenue. Let's attach that quote to a, an opportunity. Let's assign an existing quote. Okay. Now we have got a, 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 an ability to actually enter a, a revenue that we think we're going to make. But what's really b beautiful about Enterprise is that figure is overwritten by the actual prices that I've got in my my quotes that's been attached. So if I now look at my opportunities pipeline. What I'll find is Funhouse, created on the 15th today, has a profit of £70, which is exactly what's which is exactly the profit that's against my quote. Now the real key here is obviously that's opportunities outstanding, it's in progress. If that customer then that prospect then says I want to buy from you, by clicking this one button, convert to sales order. That converts the quote to a sales order, so I can print the pick note and dispatch the goods, etc. Also converts the prospect to a customer and closes my opportunity, which was in progress, as you'll see here. So if we refresh that. Is now is now sold. So Funhouse is now sold for the seventy pounds. Okay, another feature of the integration in uh, Enterprise Suite, and because it's one database, what we can do is we can produce a target list to cu with customers in that we want to say market product B to that have purchased product A. So if we take Funhouse as our ex example, we'll have a look at a target list. Produce target list based on customers, prospects, or customers or prospects. We can then filter the the customers, say based on like you know uh, static fields like cust uh, customer location, like their country, or you know some so one of the static fields like date created, modified department. But what I'm more interested in is actually the dynamic data that we've got here, the actual sales data. So what we've got here is the ability to put purchased items or not purchased items in. So I know that Funhouse bought a frame and a, I think a, uh, a monitor. So if we just put the frame in and put a date range of today, 
can also do quoted items, so people who may not have bought something, uh, and you might want to kind of, you know, market them again. That then gives us a result, and with that result, we can then produce an Excel spreadsheet, which we can take to one of the, the emailers that are out there, the email marketing companies, or uh, you could create a call list, um, or you could just save it for a later date. The final thing I want to show you in Enterprise Suite um, is the ability to pull orders in from your website. Obviously, Enterprise is a standard, uh, a, a standard ERP application, but what it also enables us to do is bolt on e-commerce directly into the database. So if we pull up our shop that we've got here, this is connected directly to the website, the, the, the database, here. So if I look for my customer that I'm logged in as on my website, which is this chap here, what we'll find under the pricing tab is I've created a, a special price. So that means the frame I'll get for £75. So when we actually look for that customer, on, or when we search for that item online, you can see I get £75 as a price. I can then, when I order it, you can see then when I order it, oh, I need to accept the terms and conditions. That orders come straight through into Enterprise with my customer specific pricing. Okay, that concludes the video, the integration video. Many thanks for your time.